Hey Aquarius, welcome back. So here we're about to do a general reading. This may or it may not resonate with everyone. Just take it how it applies to you if it does. All right, let's start with your person. They've got the three of wands, the fool, the five of pentacles, and the five of cups. Somebody here is missing you. Yep, a lot. Okay, I feel like this is the kind of person though who's been trying to convince themselves that they don't care anymore. Um, they do tend to have this kind of detached, aloof energy about themselves. Or maybe this is someone who's not good at opening up or expressing their emotions. But deep down, they miss you like crazy. Okay, Aqua with this Five of Cups here. I also feel like um, they've been trying to move on. They have, okay. But if you kind of pulled away from this person, which some of you did, you've got the High Priestess here. You're not really talking to them. They, um, they miss talking to you, okay. Or there's this energy of them waiting or hoping to hear from you, okay. They want to see your number pop up on their phone again. Or your contact or your picture or something here okay but um, and I'm not suggesting okay that you reach out to this person I mean it's your life it's your decision but um, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying okay there is this nostalgic energy that this person feels when they think about you okay and they also get very sad here okay um, the five of cups does speak about disappointment hurt feelings loss you know regret um, maybe they feel like they messed things up here or they made a mistake okay but um, or they feel like you've just kind of ignored them or you left them alone. You forgot about them here. Okay. But I feel like some of you, you haven't though, because you've got the high priestess, the king of cups and the eight of pentacles. And what's around you is the will of fortune. Some of you, um, like I was saying, you're not really talking to this person much, or you just, you kind of backed off of this. Okay. Maybe you still want this too. All right. Or maybe you still love them. Some of you, you're secretly in love with them or they're secretly in love with you. Okay. With the high priestess and the king of cups. So some of you are willing to still work on this. Others of you, maybe you've been healing. Okay. Maybe things have changed in your life or just the dynamic of this connection or your mindset has changed or shifted when it comes to this person. So maybe you're not as attached to this as you were before. You know, for a few of you, you could just really be focusing on work here or your, you know, your career, your business, I don't know, but I don't really feel like you've been putting much effort into this um, connection. And I feel like this person wants you to, okay, they they miss you. All right. But again, they've been trying to convince themselves that they don't care anymore. All right, you guys, but they're just they're lying to themselves here. Spirit, please clarify the three of wands, the fool, as well as the five of pentacles. All right. If you're an Aquarius male watching, and this is a female we're talking about here, I think this um, this woman has cried over you before. Yep, she may have even gotten tarot readings about you. That's not for everyone, but I'm just I'm seeing that storyline here for a person. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Wands, the Full card, and the Five of Pentacles for Aquarius this person. All right, so they've got the Seven of Wands as well as the Ace of Cups. Told you somebody's in love here. Yep, and then they've also got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I get the feeling that some of you, this is a Virgo. Yep. Um, doesn't have to be. I also see Aries here. It could be any sign. Okay, you guys, but there's a part of this person that has really been struggling with letting you go or part of them that is kind of still wanting to fight for this or still believes in this. Okay. Um, maybe he wants to reconcile with this ace of cups. Some of you, this could be a new person that you're interested in or who's interested in you. Okay. That's not for everyone, but I do see the opportunity for um, new love here or a new beginning, okay? Restarting something with someone who maybe you're no longer connected to. Some of you, you're open to it. Others of you, I don't think so, okay? Um, I feel like, again, you may have closed the cycle out or you're just, your focus is elsewhere, all right? Um, with this Queen of Pentacles here, this person, they've been, they've been trying to focus on themselves, like I was saying, okay? Um, maybe their money here, if they were having some money issues, they are trying to get back stable with this Queen of Pentacles. But I also feel like this person, they do see you as someone who's valuable, okay, Aquarius? But they may also feel like you... You just don't want this and, and they feel like they need to kind of shift their focus as well. So it's like a part of them is holding on and the other part of them feels like they need to heal and, and release this is what I'm trying to say. All right, spirit, please clarify the um, high priestess, the king of cups and the eight of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the high priestess, the king of cups and the eight of pentacles. So you've got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, some of you, you let this go because it turned into a burden, okay? Dealing with this person, 
loving this person was just a little too hard okay it kept draining you even though you may have wanted this to work some of you you just you gave up on it okay or maybe they gave up on it first they left and now you're in this place where you know you need to heal okay or you feel like you have no other choice but to let this go okay um, others of you, you still want to talk to them though, or you may still, you know, be with this person. Okay. Everyone's not broken up. It could be different for everybody, but yeah. And then we've got your card here. Yep. The star card. Some of this could be another Aquarius. Some of you, I feel like you may want to put the past behind, um, the two of you. Okay. So some of you, you are willing to work this out, but you, it, it can't be like how it was before. Okay. So the drama, the bullshit, the toxicity that, that has to be left in the past because some of you. You are willing to talk to this person again or heal this connection with this um, star card, okay? So you may still believe in this or you're still hoping the two of you can work things out, all right? I get the feeling that this is a type of situation where um, they may feel like you don't care, okay, with this five of cups and then you may feel like they don't care either and that's why you have pulled away from them. So it's like there's a lot of unspoken... Um, feelings or emotions here neither one of you knows how the other one feels and you guys assume things okay you assume that they've moved on they've assumed that you've moved on and in reality some of some of you haven't okay you and this person still have love for each other and that's not for everyone okay because again some of you are healing and you're focused um elsewhere okay just take how take it however to you know fits for you let's pull some more messages for them and then we'll pull your advice messages all right spirit show me some more clarifiers here for aquarius this person show me some more clarifiers for aquarius this person here all right so they've got false mask and it says i might act like i don't care but it's a front I've been in denial about my feelings and I've tried to dismiss them. To be honest, I still want you. Makes perfect sense. That's what I was saying from the beginning. Okay. Um, so yeah, this person still has love for you, but this is someone who hides their feelings or they're just, they're not speaking to you. They're not saying it, which is a problem. You know, when it comes to a relationship, you don't want to deal with someone who doesn't know how to express themselves. Okay. So I feel like this person, they do need to open up to you. All right. Now they've also got attraction. And it says, I find you to be very attractive. It's your features, body parts, charisma, and the way you carry yourself. You're just so damn sexy to me, all right? So, yeah, there's still attraction here that they feel towards you. Or if you and this person were intimate in the past, or, if, you know, if this was a very sexual connection, I feel like they definitely still think about that, okay? Or they see you as someone who's very beautiful, okay? Or sexy or handsome if you're a man watching, all right? They've also got stagnant and it says lack of progress, dull, holding back, mundane, no effort. Yeah, so it looks like something um, became stagnant here between the two of you or things just were not growing or progressing or something just came to a stop, okay? So I don't know if it was communication, if somebody got ghosted here or um, if this is this person holding back their feelings. All right, you guys, but that's what came out, okay? Now let's pull some advice messages. These may pertain to them or, you know, the situation or it might just be journal advice that Spirit wants to say to some of you, all right? Just take them if they apply. Spirit, what three advice messages do you want to say to Aquarius? What three advice messages do you want to say to Aquarius? All right, so you've got surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. And it says, let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life, okay? Um, so some of you, you could be releasing the past or certain um, behaviors or, or ways of doing things, okay? Whether it pertains to your relationships, how you handle relationships, or um, could be about work or, you know, whatever the case is, just take it if it fits for you. All right. You'll know if it resonates. Okay. Now you've also got surrender worry and it says make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body, focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Okay. So that's for those of you that are dealing with stress or anxiety, which most of you seem like you're in a pretty good place for the most part. I mean, you may be dealing with some things here with this 10 of wands, whether it's with this person or work or whatever family, I don't know, but um, you're, you're going to be fine. All right. Next, you've also got surrender denial and it says accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Okay. So that's what came out. You guys, if this resonated, feel free to like and subscribe. All right. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish you the best. Take care.